Hello everyone, this is a short presentation to illustrate the use of CBCD as an aid to locate calcified canals. Calcifications almost always occur from a coronal to apical direction. The calcified part of the canal will be coronal and the patent part of the canal will be apical. So the trick is to stay centered till we can find the patent part of the canal. In single rooted teeth, we apply the law of centricity and we know that the single canal that is present is usually in the center of the tooth. Uh, so we've traditionally used radiographs as a tool to help us locate the calcified canal. So the technique is fairly simple. We use a burr and as we drill apically, we take intermittent radiographs um, to, to check if the burr is along the long axis of the tooth or not. And if we find that the burr is off center of the long axis, we reorient the burr to make sure it stays along the long axis. And we keep doing this every millimeter till we finally locate the canal. This technique is useful. However, uh, with this technique, you can only look at the mesiodistal dimension. You, can, you cannot evaluate the, uh, the palatolabial uh, dimension of where to look for the canal. And the CBCD is one tool which can help us overcome this uh, disadvantage. So I'd like to show you a couple of cases which illustrate the use of uh, CBCD in helping us locate calcified canals. This is the first case where somebody had already started endo on both these teeth. Uh, in this uh, tooth, they, they've broken a, 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 an instrument there. And on this tooth, they went around looking for the canal but couldn't find the canal because um, it was calcified. Uh, so then, then they referred the case to me. And this patient uh, had a CBCD because this was a pretty large lesion here. And what we see on the CBCD is this was a misdiagnosed case uh, because you can clearly see the periodontal ligament is intact here and what, what you see as this lesion is a classic nasopalatine cyst. Um, and here you can see the axis which the previous clinician has made and what the CBCD tells us is that uh, the clinician has gone far too labially and almost perforated labially. So what the CBCD tells us is it gives us a different perspective. It gives you the palatolabial view and uh, it also tells me that when I open this cavity I don't have to look for this canal in the in the labial half of the axis cavity and if there's a canal the canal is going to be in the palatal half of the axis cavity which is already made by the previous clinician so uh, when I remove this temporary filling this is what I see I see a very large axis cavity and because of my of the information that I've got from the CBCT I know that I don't have to look for the canal in this part of the canal, in this part of the excess cavity. And if there is a canal, it's going to be in this part of the excess cavity. And that's exactly where we looked for it. And uh, that's where we found the excess cavity. And, of, and that's where we found the canal, sorry. Uh, and of course, once you find the canal, the rest of the procedure is fairly straightforward. We clean, shape, and uh, obturate the case. So that's case number one. This is the second case. Again, um, somebody had made access in both these teeth, uh, couldn't find the canal, and then uh, referred the case to me. So in this tooth, you can probably see some trace of some canal there, but in this tooth, it's pretty much obliterated. But in another angle, you can actually see some trace of a canal here. So um, I opened up this uh, tooth and then uh, went around looking for the canal. But uh, when I... Uh, was uh, digging down further, um, I, I came across a situation where I was not really sure whether to dig down in this area or not. So what I did in this case was I put a blob of gutta perca where I was looking for the canal and then took an inter-appointment CBCT. So I, I used gutta perca as a marker uh, for the inter-appointment CBCT, placed a blob of gutta perca from the obtura gun and then took a CBCD. And what the CBCD told me was the actual canal is labial to where I was looking for. So this is where I was uh, digging around with the Munzburr and uh, the actual canal is labial to where I was looking for. So once I had that information, it was easy for me to look for the canals here rather than under here. So I removed the GP and just uh, looked for the canal there and then that's exactly where I found the canal. And of course, once I found the canal, the rest of the procedure was fairly easy. And that's the post-op of uh, this case. So that's uh, two cases as examples of how the CBCD helps you locate uh, calcified canals by, by aiding you uh, to visualize uh, the, the palato-labial uh, orientation um, of the calcified portion of the canal. 
So um, I hope uh, this uh, helps you in your uh, clinical cases. Uh, to uh, I will be posting more of these cases in the coming weeks. Uh, I look forward to seeing all of you here again. Take care.